Understanding a bleeding heart, exploring the meaning and usage. Hello and welcome, language enthusiasts. In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, specifically the phrase, a bleeding heart. We'll explore its meaning, origins, and how it's used in everyday conversation. So, let's get started on this linguistic journey. The phrase, a bleeding heart, refers to a person who is excessively sympathetic, especially towards those who claim to be underprivileged or exploited. This idiom often carries a slight connotation of criticism or irritation, suggesting that the person's compassion might be excessive or impractical. It's important to note that the phrase doesn't refer to physical heart bleeding but is a metaphorical expression. The term, bleeding heart, has been in use for centuries, but its current meaning evolved over time. Historically, it was associated with religious imagery, especially in Christianity, where the heart symbolized love and compassion. Over the years, the term began to take on a secular meaning, describing someone whose heart bleeds in empathy for others. Understanding this historical context can help in appreciating the depth and nuance of the phrase. In contemporary language, a bleeding heart is often used in political or social discussions. For example, it might be used to describe someone who advocates for social justice or charitable causes. However, it's crucial to use this term carefully due to its potentially critical undertone. It's not uncommon to hear it in phrases like, don't be such a bleeding heart, or he's a bleeding heart liberal. To fully grasp the usage, let's look at some examples. One, my sister is such a bleeding heart, always volunteering at the shelter. Two, he's often mocked as a bleeding heart by his peers for his views on social welfare. These sentences showcase how the phrase can be used in different contexts, emphasizing its versatile nature in the English language. I hope this video has been enlightening in understanding the idiom, a bleeding heart. Remember, language is not just about words but the history and culture they carry. Keep exploring and expanding your linguistic horizons, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!